not too sure about that. Jeez, man, that's tough. Uh, no. Who would ever hand over their phone to be locked up? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, sure, I guess. Oh, you want to lock it in there? Yeah. Are you playing now? All right, it's locked. My name is Matt Howarth. I gave up my phone for the day. I was quite hesitant. I'm up for an adventure, but I typically have my sort of my safety net. Like right now, I would just go down and check my phone. There's this constant cloud of things, pun intended, that's happening around us. And if you're the only one that doesn't have their phone, you're out of place. Right? You are alone. Look, do you see the rain? Should I catch it on your tongue? I think I use my cell phone a little too much. <laughs> So understanding that it wasn't always like this is important to give perspective. It's not black or white, you know, good versus evil. It's a spectrum, and you have to find sort of your balance. Be an observer of your world, look around, see what you can see. Relax and sort of take a breath mentally. I didn't have to disengage today because there was nothing that was pulling my attention. The faces he made, the, the, the giggles, the laughter. He never had to say my name twice. He knew I was his. There has to be changes think, moving forward. I have to be able to incorporate some of that discipline more because I've seen just the effects of what it can do. What does it look like to incorporate this technology in a balanced way? so that we can still maintain what is authentic and real about relationships. I didn't miss it as much as I thought I was gonna miss it, honestly. Learned a lot of lessons today. There is this detachment that I can have towards my technology that could be good and even more so beneficial. I'm not like totally happy that I now have that access again. I don't know if I'm ready, but I'm excited to get there.